what happens while you're losing is that angels are assigned by God to go after what you lose. They're ministering spirits. They have an assignment while you're losing. When you lose things, you're planting the power of God to bring a shift, a manifestation. A shift in a manifestation to something that you need his intervention on. Now, the Lord Jesus said, whatsoever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Because this is a courtroom. Grace is a courtroom ability. It's going to be loosed in heaven because God is going to decide to rule in your favor while you're loosing. You have divine backing from the courts of heaven. From the righteous judge. And see Jesus is the advocate. He's the lawyer. He's the one that has validified why. What you lose. Can be granted to you. So it was the Lord Jesus. That was reading your rights. And he said whatsoever you loose on earth. Will be loosed in heaven. So loosing is for your life. Here on earth. Loosing is not for eternity. So people that are in eternity are not loosing. Loosing is for you to have the lifestyle down here on earth that you're supposed to live. When you lose something, never go back on the fact that you have loosed it. Never go back on the fact that it has been loosed. Stay in the momentum of it being loose. Baby, I know you want to play right now, but you're going to have a time to play. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Get some sleep. You're tired. Here you go. Give you a little comfy, comfy, okay? A little comfy, all right? Good night. Good day. Good Lord. Goodness and mercy. Don't go back on what you lose. And don't have second thoughts about what you lose. Stay in the strength of what you lose. Because when you lose something, it is loosed in the spirit realm. That means that Satan no longer is occupying it, blocking it, ruling over it. When you lose something, it means that now it is yours. So you don't want to place it back in Satan's hands by going against the rules of loosing. Because remember, double-mindedness is an adversary to loosing as well. Um, fainting is an adversary to loosing. Wrong counsel is an adversary to loosing. When people start counseling you wrong, tell you, hey, you don't need that, and, and God not concerned about it, and then their seeds can destroy what you loose. So you protect the loosing that you have done. Now he said, if you loose it on earth, it will be loosed in heaven. Because heaven is the location where what you're loosing has authority to come to you from. It's the source in which it is really traveling from. From the Father's throne, from his heart, from his covenant. When you loose money, money flows to you. And that's why opportunities start reaching you and the angel of the Lord will start showing you what to do. Because you have loose money. That means that now it is no longer tied up. Sometimes your money is tied up because you tied up. Your money is in bondage because you're in bondage. Either bondage to mindsets or relationships. Sometimes you're with somebody that God don't want you to be with. Sometimes you're in a state that God don't want you to be at. 
And so when we deal with loosing, it takes Satan's authority off of an object, an event, or a miracle. Now you can loose body parts. There's a storehouse in heaven that is simply for body parts. There's eyeballs there. There's knees. There's hips. Now, I can't tell you like the hips that are. are I'm not talking about fat hips. I mean hip bones. You, 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 you. I'm talking about hip bones. Bones. I'm not, I'm not saying that God going to give you fat hips. I'm not saying that. I'm saying the bones, the bone hip, hip bones. So so you decide what meat come on that hip. <laughs> That's something not up to God. You got to decide whether or not you're going to eat chicken wings. You, you got to decide whether or not you're going to eat that ham hock. You, you got to, you, you the one. is you. So, so don't say God about to give me some hips. He about to send me some hips from the storehouse. See, I'm talking about the hip bones. You decide what you're going to put on the bones. You you put nothing on them bones or you put something on them bones. But that's, that's going to be up. That's your prerogative. There's a storehouse for body parts and you can lose body parts. You can lose divine thoughts. I lose every thought that God is thinking into my brain, into my heart, into my being. I choose to receive heavenly downloads and heavenly text messages and emails from the Father. Why do you think that the iPhone has the airdrop? Because the Lord would airdrop you information. He'll give you images. The Lord will airdrop you visions, things that he wants you to see in your mind. There's a divine airdrop where the Lord will show you what's to come. You can lose divine connections that's supposed to be in your life, people that you're supposed to meet. Through da Daniel and the Prince of Persia, you find out that sometimes the plan of God is delayed because demons can get involved in the other party. Nothing happens with just one person. Everything that God is going to do in your life is going to require other people or another person involved. It's not just going to be you. And so loosen also works with the plan of God. I loose God's will to be done in my life on earth. I loose the schedule that the father has for my life today. I loose it. Whoever I'm supposed to meet, I shall meet them in the name of Jesus. I loose them from any demonic power stopping them. I loose every event that's supposed to happen today. I take a hold of it. I receive it. You'll have to lose things because there will always be a challenging that you will encounter and you have to win that challenging. You have to win that opposition and not let the opposition stop you or delay you or postpone you. Become more aggressive about loosen. When you lose things, you have to know that spiritually it is now en route to you. There's an ETA. When you lose something, there's an ETA. It's on its way to you. So you want to stay in faith. You want to stay in rejoicing and expectation. Because God is looking at how well you celebrate what you lose. Or, or how much you celebrate him for what you lose. And while you'll celebrate him, you'll see it come to pass.